So guys, let me talk about working in the hospital. Working in the hospital is a very different angle. You have more of, like for now, I'm working on the uh, at the cardiology part in the hospital. There, I have more, I don't really have more of talking with people. I have more of documenting the person's, the patient's healing process, hanging infusions, and giving the person taking blood giving the person the patient the medicine and giving the person the patient injection monitoring and giving the doctors at that hospital the doctors are there inside the hospital but in nursing home the doctors are not you cannot find a doctor in nursing home you call them if there is anything there they will come over but at that hospital you're there as a middle person if you're working in the hospital to give information and to fight for the right of your patient to you're standing as a middle person between your hey family it's a girl frouchy here and welcome back to my channel today Yay. If, you're returning, if you're a returning subscriber first of all i want to ask for your forgiveness forgive my inconsistency i know i don't really post videos often i get a lot of messages on my instagram people asking me to do a video on this topic to do a video on this topic and I've been promising a lot of people, yes, I will do this, yes, I will do this. Guys, I'm so sorry if I've not done any video on the topic you requested for. Forgive me, I've been really working and schooling at the same time. Everything is just, this is exam period, exam period. I'm, I'm preparing for a lot of exams. I have a lot of things to type that the date, submission date is very close and everything is just on my neck like this. So I've not really had the time. Please forgive my iniquities. And if it is your first time coming across my channel, darling, Hey, I'm Choma. I live in Germany and I make videos about living in Germany and studying nursing in Germany. I'm a registered nurse in Germany and I'm currently studying to get my degree in general nursing science and informatics. Yeah, so stay tuned and come to this channel because I have a lot of beautiful informa info informative <laughs> I can't speak English again, guys. Beautiful, informative, and interesting videos on this channel. Yay. So today, guys, I actually have my stethoscope on. So you guys, I hope you guys have not forgotten that I'm a nurse. I actually got this stethoscope last year, August, as a graduation gift when I finished from nursing school. Yeah, it's the Lisman stethoscope, as you guys can see. And I love it so much. And I can't wait for me to become a nurse, general nurse practitioner in future and hang this stethoscope in my office. Okay, guys. So guys, today I'm going to be talking on a topic which is what nurses actually do in germany and how much nurses earn in germany today i'm going to be very open and sincere with you guys i'm also going to tell you guys how much i earn as a 80 as i have a I have 80% job uh, position. That means I am not working full-time. I am working part-time because I am also studying at the same time. So first of all, I'm going to start with what nurse, What do nurses do actually in Germany? What uh, work do they do at the hospital, nursing home, and any other place that nurses work? What do they do? Okay, first, there are three types of nurses. Although... Currently in Germany, they have what they call general nursing, like everybody at the same thing. No more pediatric nurses, no more uh, geriatric nurses for the elderly people, and no more um, normal nurses for the sick people. So now they call it generalistic Ausbildung. That means everybody, they are, you guys learn the same thing, no specialization. At, at the end of everything, you guys will choose where you want to work. So first of all, I'm going to start with nurses in old people's home, like nursing homes and paralyzed people's homes, or nurses that specialized in geriatry, or nurses that are working in these places that I just mentioned. Because I did my, when I was in my Ausbildung, I did it everywhere, mostly in nursing homes, and also I did in hospital, I did in psychiatric clinic too. So I have more experience, more nurses, I have more nursing home experience. You guys, serious, I don't know why I'm biting my tongue and 
start hurrying today seriously is it because it's been a long time i did this video okay i have a lot of nursing home experience because when i first arrived in germany i was supposed to start nursing school uh april that day i arrived in germany 2017 February. I was supposed to start nursing school April. I couldn't start because they said that I don't have enough experience and I cry a lot and a lot of things that happened why I could not start April. So they shifted it to September. They said they're giving me another opportunity to get on my feet and start September. So I during that period, a girl needs to do what she has to do to survive. So I was volunteering as a, a Red Cross, a, what they call it, Red Cross I was volunteering and I volunteered in a nursing home. So apart from volunteering volunteering in a nursing home in a nursing home, also during my hospital, I also worked in nursing homes. Okay, guys, I'm trying to tell you guys as a nurse in nursing home, their job is actually different than the job of a nurse that works in a hospital or any other station in the uh, hospital section. Okay, as a nurse in a nursing home, your job you don't really have more of a job of you know trying to save somebody's life more like people that are working in hospitals you guys are trying to save people's lives but as in a nurse in nursing home you know that people that are there are old people that are waiting for their faith that are waiting that when day it comes they are willing to accept it and die even some patients in nursing home they already sign in the patient's file that in no case should they become sick in no case should they become sick and they should be taken to the hospital that means they should not be treated let's say if they become sick now with pneumonia or any uh, sickness they don't want to be treated they just want to be left alone and to be to die just they are willing to die when it comes knocking at their door but it, at the hospital you see a lot of people that they are fighting and struggling for their life also in nursing home you will see elderly people that are staying in nursing home they will stay and say they will sign it also in there and it's very important when you come over here and join us in school you will know the importance of this patient's file that they already have written things signed signed already in it they will sign that if they should ever stop eating or stop drinking that people doctors and nurses should never try to put pipe like install pipe in their body for them to be feeding them through it that people should the care workers should accept their fate and allow them to also die in peace so nursing home we accept that yes this is their fate and this is what they want even though there's some elderly people too they still want to leave maybe those ones we know that if something happens immediately we transfer them to the hospital most nursing homes nursing home nursing homes have a part a host they are attached to a hospital part so if anything should happen they take them to that hospital immediately so in nursing home what nurses mostly do there is like taking care of the elderly people in the nursing home helping them to go about their normal life because it's like they left their own house to come and live in this place so it's also their home helping them maybe but we don't clean their rooms and you know but we make their beds maybe when the toilet is you know kind of a uh, when the toilet is messed up for elderly people that are no longer cognitive okay that don't really understand what they are doing or not we help them clean up the toilet even though they have cleaning people that come and also clean the place too but you help them you know to bathe to clothe themselves to feed themselves for people that cannot eat again and we also take orders from their doctors because each elderly person in that nursing home they have their own doctor the doctor will prescribe the med medicine and you as a nurse you're there to give them their medicine morning afternoon and night let's say if we, if uh, if a patient in a nursing home stops you know due to sickness stop eating and the person is dehydrated and the person still wants to leave you get order from the doctor asking you to be putting infusion or stereo funding let's say hanging it nscl in the evening and night hanging infusion but you're not allowed to know put a what do they call it again intravenous two gang they call it two gang like put it jesus do you study in him? in german seriously to put intravenous to gang please go and check what is intravenous to gang if you're coming here to do nothing that is my assignment for you okay you're not allowed to put it it's like a way a pipe like in nigeria i used to see it there when i was in nigeria a needle that insights in the vein artery 
arteria radialis or the vein of the neck they insert it so that they can be able to be giving that person liquids when the person is dehydrated or things like that so these are things you do but mostly most of your job is like to take care of the elderly people you don't see something like monitor heart monitor you don't see see something like a lot of things you see in the hospital like monitor that will help you to be reading the heart uh, frequency of the person as they know so you don't see you don't give injections you don't allow to take blood you don't do all these things in nursing home if there is anything you call the doctor the doctor will come and do this but nursing home is very very stressful because a lot of people don't want to specialize in that ger geriatric that nursing that adult nursing so they lack people in that area it's very stressful you'll be running around from here to here and most of the old people also living there cannot are paralyzed they cannot move again you need to you know move them with your fellow colleagues and your fellow nurses it's kind of a stressful job and for people that can you know that are not that are young <laughs> for people that are young and also for people that their back is still strong they are not ready you know to get old immediately anyway this is your type of this is your type of job but it's also a lot of experience because you have a lot of experience. You learn a lot from the old people and you don't have much, you know, medicine job, like medical job to do. You just have more of taking care of somebody, speaking with them, playing with them. You just have more of this job to do. Okay, guys. So let me talk about the this video is actually going to be a long video because i don't know why i've been running around the simple words that i'm supposed to just say i'll just be running around why because i've been speaking german throughout this week at my workplace and i have lost most of my english so guys let me talk about working in the hospital working in the hospital is a very different angle you have more of like for now i'm working on the uh, at the cardiology part in the hospital yeah, I have more, I don't really have more of talking with people. I have more of documenting the person's, the patient's healing process, hanging infusions and giving the person, taking blood, giving the person, the patient, the medicine and giving the person, the patient injection, monitoring and giving the doctors at that hospital, the doctors are there inside the hospital but in nursing home the doctors are not you cannot find a doctor in nursing home you call them if there is anything there they will come over but at that hospital you're there as a middle person if you're working in the hospital to give information and to fight for the right of your patient to you're standing as a middle person between your patient and your and his or her doctor you are the nurse, you are in charge, you are there, you also have the right to see that if before you call the doctor, if a patient, if something is happening or a patient's heart rate is reducing, you can run immediately and or the person, patient's heart rate is increasing, you can run immediately, take magnesium, put it, uh, take or take NSCL and hang it for the patient and then inform the doctor of about what you did you have more of authority you have more of medical things to do you don't really have more of cleaning the patient because most patients will see that after operation they clean themselves uh, themselves and we don't want them to lose that ability to take care of themselves unlike in nursing homes we have to understand in nursing homes that these people and uh, they don't want to do it again so we don't sorry they can't do it again because of old age and we don't force them to do it instead we help them them. but in a hospital most of them are still young we want them to continue doing it and not to lose it's called active active stimulation or active active <laughs> like activating so we want them to do it so instead what do we do we help them we told them if it's a patient that is still let's say two days post operation after operation we try to you know stay there in case the person falls or if anything should happen but we stay there by your side and we give you everything we set everything for you for you to take care of yourself wash yourself we don't do it for you if a, if it's a patient that have not been operated on nothing we don't talk about that we just ask you did you clean yourself today yes or no then we document it so we don't really do a lot of cleaning patients 
unlike in nursing homes we just do more of medical medical things at um at the hospital it's also the same thing but the best place to actually work in germany is the psychiatric clinic or the psychiatric hospital because there you don't have much to do it's not a place that they are trying to save somebody's life like you have to put injection let's say you have to only inject a patient when you're trying to sedate the patient maybe the patient is becoming very aggressive or something like that something is happening that's when you inject or sedate a patient apart from it you don't have maybe give the patient their medicine you don't have a lot of monitor you don't we don't even have monitor when i did my this thing in psychiatry there was no monitor to be monitoring the person's heart rate or anything or a lot of uh, wires like you see in televisions in the hospital a lot of machines that will be doing pee 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 no excuse me you don't have it at the hospital at the psychiatric clinic so it's a very chill place where you can walk and you know just have a lot of time you're not having anybody that you have to carry because everybody most of them are still working on their feet and doing everything alone so one of the best nursing and the best nursing specialization that i love is psychiatry even though that my specialization is informatic so i want to specialize in informatic i will still tell you guys the reason why and why what informaticas or nurses with informatic information technology it degrees what they do they don't we don't really have direct when i'm done with my degree i don't get to have direct contact with the patient at the hospital at the hospital but i'll be talking about next time in my next video so this is it when it comes to what you know nurses do in germany and the type of work we do at the hospital so guys it's depending now for you to choose when you come over to this place ah where do i want to specialize I've not really had experience in the pediat pediatric world and I wish I can also invite a friend of mine that I've had experience that is a pediatric no a pediatric nurse to also tell you guys about that but I will see to that okay so how much do nurses earn let me adjust my stethoscope tell you guys this one okay actually Germany doesn't really pay like USA pays United States of of America America pays I had that in America, a friend of mine in America was telling me mostly they end weekly. Germany here, we end monthly. And it's also, is a, that month is a contract that you've signed and the salary is first. It's first means that it's stable. It can only be changed when you've added a degree or any other specialization to your nursing uh, degree. Okay, for normal nurses with Ausbildung, Apart from what you earn in the Ausbildung school, when you're done with your nursing school, you know automatically your salary changes because you're now a registered nurse. For normal nurses with 100% work position that are working full time, they earn up to, but you know tax here too is also very high, they earn up to 2,800 euros. It's small, guys. 2,800 euros. I, I like converting things in Naira for my Nigerian subscribers 2800 euros should be like let's say 1.3 million i don't know 1.2 1.3 million a month then they come they that is not the money that enters the account so they have what they call netto and bruto bruto is after they've removed tax so they remove tax according to your level if a single person automatically that 2800 or 2500 euros they remove tax of like 800 euros and you end up getting 2000 euros in your account as a just registered nurse with apprenticeship or spudong okay but let's say you decided to add a degree a bachelor's degree with any specialization your start is 3500 before i continue i want to mention that as a registered nurse you can increase that salary without a bachelor's degree by doing all this specialization like anesthesia for like two years they call it fort and vita building i will write it here so you guys can see what i'm trying to say so when you have a bachelor's degree your starts would be 3500 after they've removed tax and everything you'll be getting like, let's say, it's depending on where you got the job. I know most people start with 4,200, but the the start is from 4,500 to 3,500. Okay, let's say 4,000. When the start is 4,000, 
they remove tax of like 800 700 euros you end up with like 3300 or 3500 most times depending on how much you earn but the difference between in just a registered nurse and a, a nurse with bachelor the salary difference is quite high it's like up to 2000 euros difference okay guys how much am i earning now as a nurse I, I am working 30 hours a week. It means I just get to work three times a week. I have 80% work position. That means I don't work full time. So right now I am earning 1,750 euros every month. So actually what is in my country? Let's say after they've removed tasks, that is, that is my brutal. Let's say altogether I'm earning 2,500. No. Altogether, I'm earning 2,300 or 2,400. 2,300 to 2,400. And they remove tasks or 2,200. They remove tasks. What, what, to summarize everything, what comes to my account at the end of everything, end of every month, is 1,750. Then, days when I work, when they are, they are, we have public holidays and I work, I get maybe 1,800 for extra work, you know, 1,850 or 1,900. Then in Germany, they pay what they call 13th salary. It means they pay you what they call Christmas money, Fine Arts Guild. It means every November, the ending of November, I get double of my salary. Like now I'm getting 1750 At the ending of November, I get 3000 something. They double the salary in a way to say thank you for working with us. You can only get this salary if you've been at a particular workplace for nothing less than six months. They pay you the 13th month money. So guys, I don't know if I have any other thing to tell you guys. But in my next video, I will be talking about the best nursing schools and the best cities to apply to. Uh, to find the best nursing schools in Germany and the best city to live in when it comes to being cost effective So guys for now, I would be ending this video here And you guys should not forget that we are still in the middle of a pandemic Remember to wear your mask and stay safe guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye darlings. Bye